Yo, what's going on guys, Bexio back and today we've got a brand new video. This is a completely different type of video than I've ever posted on the channel. Um, and basically, I wanna cover the whole year of investing and how it all went down, uh, how I managed to get create the portfolio that I have today and maybe that other people can uh, take from it and uh, do the same strategies that I do and grow a portfolio just like I did in under one year. So so I will start off and preface that this is insane. This whole year has been um, obviously with the pandemic drop uh, in the market and it caused a great buying opportunity for anyone who took it during that time. Uh, I did manage to uh, sink money into uh, the market while it was falling and just watch the cash burn with the plans of it being worth uh, a lot more later. I didn't plan for such a quick and great recovery. I was thinking we'd be in a bear market for like a year, but uh, I watched people like Andre Jick, Graham Stephan, and Meet Kevin, um, and all of their opinions on the stock market and what they were doing um, with their money and decided to do some of the same strategies. So we can uh, hop into my Robinhood account, which has my stocks that I bought throughout the year. Um, you can see here's my account. Uh, we are at currently at $18,350.33. So it is insane what has happened this whole year. You can see up 65% this year alone, uh, over $7,000 in profit, which is crazy. Um, and just starting, these are the stocks that I hold right now is Apple, Microsoft, Alibaba, Disney, McDonald's, Plug Power, and VTI, the index fund or ETF. Um, and then SiriusXM is a free stock I got. And then Berkshire Hathaway, I have $1 in just to say I have uh, the most expensive stock on the market. So these are all stocks I hold. Everything that I have is positive. I'm not negative on any stocks that I hold. Um, one of these, the best performing stock that I have this year was Plug Power. You can see up 995%. Um, and it's actually come down quite a bit in the last few days. So uh, it was over 1100% that I was back, but still almost a thousand percent is ridiculous. And the future for plug is crazy. Uh, but these are the stocks that I hold on Robin. I do have one Tesla share on Webull. So this is my one Tesla share on Webull. I was using Webull to trade uh, NEO. And NEO is where I got enough money uh, with NEO. I got in around $9 in NEO. Um, and managed to sell NEO around like the $30 mark, so uh, very early, but then use that money to buy a Tesla share uh, when they split. So you can see up 38% on the Tesla share. Uh, I wanna use Webull more, but I, they don't have fractional shares. So once they get that feature, I'll probably start using Webull more, but for now they don't have that and it's kind of really killing everything. So. Uh, we 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 invest using Robinhood. So that's just a quick overview on the stocks. I mean, a uh, lot of some stocks that were great picks. Obviously, Apple, super great. Always will be a great company. Microsoft. I got in because it was battling with Apple for the number one most valuable company in the world. Uh, I knew Apple would hold that title, but Microsoft being number two, you might as well own the two most uh, valuable companies in the world. Alibaba is kind of that stock where I'm just putting money into like foreign uh, foreign stocks. So obviously a Chinese company, um, they are in a little bit of trouble right now, but uh, I think that they are going to be huge as long as nothing happens to them with the Chinese government. They're basically the Amazon of China. They have like 700 million users uh, and customers. So they're an insanely huge uh, company. And I think that they can be the next trillion dollar company with just being the Amazon of China. That's crazy. Um, Disney got into Disney very early. You can see got into Disney at $103 a share basically wanted to get into Disney because I was watching me Kevin talk about Disney and he brought up really good points about Disney Plus not being priced in. Uh, and I was looking at Disney Plus and the Mandalorian was going crazy. Everyone knew what that was. Everyone was having Disney Plus. Uh, I knew their subscriber count was going to be ridiculous. So I bought them at 103 and plan to hold them for quite a while. Uh, once start, things start opening back up, and travel starts going picking up, I think they are going to see a great uh, increase in their stock. 
because their parks that produce most of their money is going to start generating revenue again like they used to plus they'll have Disney plus uh, generating tons of revenue so they are making multiple income streams Disney uh, I think is going to be a great company we got McDonald's I got into that just for some dividends I uh, wanted to put some money in there uh, let's, I don't think yeah, I mean, only up like $100, 79%, still good, but it's a dividend stock, more or less. So, plug was a great bet, and I think going to be insane in the future. And VTI is just a holding of, uh, obviously, the total stock market. It's 3,000 companies that they have that are in this index, and this index tracks them. So, index funds are always great to be in. And then, obviously, you have Tesla. So everybody loves Tesla. Uh, banking on Tesla doing great. Uh, I'll probably start getting into Tesla more once Webull offers fractional shares. Uh, I'm just not quite interested in getting Tesla sh fractional shares on Robinhood. Don't know why, I wanna keep it all on Webull. So once Webull does that, I'll probably start buying more Tesla shares uh, when I see good times to get Tesla. But So currently my stock holdings uh, come to a total of $19,014.94. So that is a great, amount of money to be starting the stock market with this year obviously very good to everybody who is involved uh, i like to look long term in stocks and long term in all of my investments so uh, this will be good for compounding and, and this can just continue to grow at great rates and i'll be happy i don't even have to put more money in i'm going to but uh, it's going to grow by itself at a good rate so I'm happy with that so the second half of my portfolio is something that's more controversial there are people that both love it and hate it and everyone in between and there is a little war going on between the people that love it and the people that hate it right now and that is Bitcoin uh, no matter where you stand on Bitcoin you can't ignore that the gains and the returns it had over its entire history as well as this year was insane it's up more than 250 percent this year it is giving back tons of money to investors to people who are holding it for a store of uh, store of wealth and Bitcoin is becoming an asset of its own and I love it uh, we'll see you know what happens in the coming years I'm very bullish on Bitcoin uh, which is why it makes up the majority of my portfolio but it also is mostly gains that is the reason it makes up the majority of it so i keep my bitcoin in a combination of cold storage and blockfi if you want to uh, use blockfi and get some free bitcoin use my link in the description below uh, you can sign up with it and then deposit some money and it will give you free bitcoin uh, i think it's like ten dollars worth of bitcoin as long as you use my link below uh, and i appreciate if anyone does that so back to this my bitcoin is held on cold storage and blockfi uh, cold storage to keep the vast majority of it safe and then blockfi to use a portion of it to create some sort of passive income with the six percent interest that they offer on bitcoin there um so the i just keep the majority safe and then put some of it to work so my bitcoin holdings as a whole uh, combining everything comes to $27,709.59. Uh, obviously, the vast majority in Bitcoin. Uh, I'm super bullish on Bitcoin. The majority of that money is profits as well. So uh, I'd like to see it keep growing and it shows no stop, no signs of stopping now. So uh, there's too much in institutional money, smart money, billionaires, people with lots of money coming into the space. Uh, and I'm super excited to see where it goes. No matter where you stand, uh, you're either going to ride Bitcoin or hope for its demise. We'll see what happens in the coming years. But that brings a combined total of investment coming to $46,724.41. I managed to do this in just under a year creating this portfolio. Um, and not having a huge income source. So I just want to let everybody know that as long as you are consistent, know what your goal is, and are able to put money in the market consistently, whether it be Bitcoin or stocks, uh, you can make a good, amount, a good amount of profit and start to compound your money. So that's the power of what's going to happen now, is taking this money and letting it sit and letting it invest um, and do its thing and earn compound interest on itself and that's what's going to tumble it into creating more money. So a big thing I wanna do with this video is look back in one year, 
next year and see where we stand, where Bitcoin's at, where the stocks are at, uh, where the portfolio in general is at, and how it's all doing. I think it'll be neat to come back to it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this type of content, let me know. I can do more things like this, showing uh, you know my stocks and things like that. I do want to do this kind of just showing that you don't need a ton of money to get started. You don't need to not know anything about stocks. You can go in completely unknown. Uh, just do a little bit of research on YouTube. It's free. There's plenty of creators out there that cover things that you can use to learn about stocks and just start getting involved in the market and start putting your money to work. So with that said, guys, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe button. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in my next video.